Ready? Ready? Hoo-ha! Ooh! Why? 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 <laughs> Hello, it's Wednesday of Challenge Week, which means this video comes to you in three parts. First, Catherine's Challenge. Catherine, you get to choose how you want to do this challenge, but you either have one minute to compress the book of your choice, or four minutes to compress the series of your choice. Okay? And I mean book series, like Harry Potter. But if you pick a series, you have to do the whole thing. And you must act it out with direct quotes from the series or the book. And it could be just you or however many people you want to involve. You can jump around and like actually physically act it out. Or you can just like say it. So, that is your challenge. Part two today's review because it's review Wednesday I'm reviewing this book it's called need and it's by Carrie Jones it's a young adult novel I thought it was really interesting very it's done very differently than a lot of things I've read and I've read a lot of things for example each chapter was tied, was head by a phobia, a kind of phobia, that had something to do with what was going on in that chapter. Like, the first chapter is called phobo Phobophobia, which is the fear of phobias, and it's talking about how she likes to collect the names of phobias. And then, you know, there's another chapter that's the fear of eating, and they're at lunch. I mean, it's... The phobias don't necessarily mean she's afraid to do whatever the phobia is talking about, but uh, but that she is doing that in that chapter. Uh, it's about fairies. She's being stalked by a fairy. Um, or actually, they call them pixies. Excuse me. Being stalked by a pixie. But they're not like this big. They're like normal sized. And... And there are also were creatures, werewolves, were tigers, a were eagle. There's actually a line in the book where she asks about, well, if there are werewolves, why, where are the vampires? And the werewolf is like, well, I don't actually think vampires exist. Which I thought was hilarious because lately all you see is werewolves versus vampires. And I want to know who came up with that because I'm pretty sure their mythologies were fairly separate until some genius decided that they needed to fight each other and now that's all over the place. In this book the wares are the good guys and they fight the pixies. It was very unstereotypical, which if you're someone who reads a lot like me is you look for that kind of thing when you look for books. Is you want something that's not the same old thing all over again. And this I this book I think did a good job of taking a concept that wasn't really new and doing it in a fresh way and not doing the same old plot. I mean there of course there are aspects of it that you find in a lot of books like there's a you know guy gets girl kind of thing going on but uh, it was interesting and kept you on your toes and had some twists which I always enjoy in a novel. Besides that, it's well written. The main character is very interesting. She's kind of a pacifist and ends up having to um, fight her way out of some situations, which upsets her greatly. And I thought that was an interesting take. The heroine that is brave but also doesn't just bash her way through things. Part three, topic for the week. Oh. Ethan, if you'll recall, did cars and Catherine did energy drinks. My topic for the week is going to be the need for curiosity. 